Hey guys, welcome back. It's Laura Dillon and Vivian, and we are Drop by Drop. Drop. And here we are. <laughs> I'm trying with to get Vivian to talk more with the first formula, which is inspired by Chanel. Chanel, not mm -hmm. Chanel. Okay, number five, and this will be our recipe formula. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I forget. I'm sorry. As I gotta get used to it. In the perfume world, in in the perfumery world, we call it. It's a formula, but in the keywords in Google search, it's recipe. <laughs> so we do both. So we can say it's a recipe, or we can say it's a formulation. If you're going to be doing it professionally, it is a formulation. If you're going to do it for a hobby and just for fun, and you like to use the word recipe, then you use the word recipe. There you go. Here we go. Yay! Yay! Either way. So, here we go. Ta da! Dun dun dun! Like you did before. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to be talking today about understanding the impact of a an ingredient. An ingredient. So we have talked about this before on other videos. This is our first formula, but we are also going to try and give you a little more information on this uh, particular formulation because every subsequent formula that comes after this, two, three, and so forth and so on, it's all gonna be based off of how we're lining these up today. And what we're doing is it's based off of the lowest impact. If you'll put that back down. Oh, sorry. That's all right. So she likes to play whenever we're trying to teach. All right, so this is going to be the lowest impact, and then we're working towards the highest impact. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you'll know that the lowest impact, such as the ones that are the woods, they tend to have, it's not always true, but they tend to have what? The heavier, oh, the heavier molecules. Exactly. And they're mostly like the mm, earthy type of... Um, Scents or the bases that we use in the base or the oils like earthy type of oils, such as yeah. uh, such as the woods, the resins, uh, mosses, you name it. Those tend to be some some spices. They tend to have the higher uh, the heavier molecules. And when we say impact, that means how how it travels as far as the scent molecules. Do they punch you in the nose fast? Or do they have a slow punch? It's not about their strength. It's not about how strong they are. It's about can they punch you in the nose quick? And also the lower impact um, oils will also take longer mm -hmm. to dissipate. So those will be the ones that will be hanging around. And having your, a slow yes, motion Hanging punch. around your skin for a long time. Like right. you would smell it hours later and you know that's what you're gonna end up smelling on your skin right the leftover the, yeah you have the heavier molecule yep right. so again so again we're just gonna go over real quick one more time uh what the impact is because again we're going to be deleting most of the old videos that we have and staying with the newer ones and the impact the lowest impact to the highest impact meaning the one that takes the slowest to get to our nose or the slowest or the least punchable it has a slow impact. Whereas, if, like if you were running into a brick wall, how slow does it take you to hit the brick wall? <laughs> <Are you? laughs> is it a slow movement or when you go to punch a wall, is it quick? So these are hitting that wall quicker, at meaning your nose, which is the wall. And this one takes a little bit longer to get to your nose. So normally the ones that take a little longer to hit to your no get to your nose, they are... The ones that are the higher mole or the heavier molecules, and then the ones that have are most volatile, they tend to punch you quicker, the quickest. Yes. They'll they'll reach your they'll reach your olfactory bulb quicker. Yes. There you go. You'll smell them a lot more faster. A lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So and then some of them are very similar in their impact. So it's very difficult to determine which one is quicker. So again, it all comes down to you and whether, what you consider. Again, it's subjective, so it's completely up to you. And right now, this the sandalwood vanilla is our lowest impact, and then it's gonna slowly move up. And then the ylang ylang is the one, I mean, for me, it punches the uh, the quickest Yeah. to me. 
And I think so too. Followed by the Alvahitic, and then the uh, I think it's Rose ja- uh, Lily, Lily of the, of the Valley, Valley, and then Rose Jasmine or Jasmine Rose, whichever one. Right. All right. All right. So, so we she does not have a formula yet. Nope. We're gonna show you. This is the only one we're gonna do it in. The very first one. What we're gonna do is do one drop at a time. All right. Literally drop by drop. When you're creating your own formula. I'm going to have you come up a little. We're going to come up a little. Explain. So, okay, maybe we should do it up here. All right. So, when we're gonna, when we're creating our newest formula, and this is what she's named hers. It's formula number one, but she named it. I was like, give it a name. And she goes, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> so, that's what we're naming it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So, that's the name of this one in particularly. And this was, again, inspired by Chanel number five. But she's going to take each ingredient and put one drop in at a time, and she's going to smell it from the bottle and see what it smells like one after one after the other. It's kind of like what we did when we did it under the um, the glass bulb. So we're checking to see how well they blend with one another in the very beginning, or if they complement one another, which they do. And then when you put one of each one in and you smell it, now you can kind of get a gauge of what you're going to add the most up. Because nine times out of ten, by the time you put the highest impact ingredient in here, it's going to overpower everything. And then you're most likely are going to want to add more of your lower impact or your mid impact. But the, the highest impact, most likely you won't be doing more. Unless that's what you're going for, a high impact uh, fragrance. Alright, so we're going to get back to the formula. And she's going to do one at a time. Just one drop, smell it, next drop. And if you have like 20 or 30 different fragrances you're not going to do one right you know 30 of them one drop the next one next one it's too much work but we're only doing five and i want you to get used to smelling them individually as they go in and see how it makes a difference it's kind of like the charl uh, this kind of like the uh jean carl's method where you're com- you're com- um comparing different scents you compare that are the same that are uh, this you compare notes that are the same or ingredients that are the same and you learn and then you take ones that are contrasting and then you're able to learn them better yeah they'll balance out into the um your perfume better according to you right based on what you, and and I'll sh- we'll show you a, later much later another tip on how to using the uh the um Jean Carl's method how to help train your nose all right so back to Vivian here we go. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to go one by one. Yeah. And you can just go ahead. I'm going to do this for her while she's doing it. So I'm going to do All one, right. one, one. And she's going to start with the lowest impact first. Yeah. So I already put one, one, one because that's what she's going to start off with. So this one is the lowest impact. It did take I'm a long. It takes that. longer hold to get. Yeah. It's like really weird. Sorry. Let's see. One. <laughs> We're back to that. <laughs> Woohoo! This is gonna be a long video. Yes, <laughs> and we apologize for that. But do it from back. Um, here. it won't. I mean, for the next ones, it won't be this long. So you don't have we to smell right. smell the first one. I would. I would smell this one first. I would oh, smell, smell this, one this one first. Yep. Before you put the next one, just Eek. to see what it's <laughs> the scent is. You yeah, see? it does. It's not getting up there. Yeah, so it's a very low impact. So she's not even even in the vial. There you go. You got a little bit. Yeah. It took a minute to get to her. Oh well, a couple seconds. But that those this scent or this ingredient did not travel or make an impact to her nose until what five seconds later. Yeah. Of sniffing. So yeah, there it's, you go. It's so go ahead and put that down. A long time to come up. All right. And then the next one, we're gonna do one. One. <laughs> we don't have to tighten it. I'm going to use it again. So, all right. So now we're going to swirl that around. Now this one had a much higher impact. So most likely, I'm not smelling it. She's yet. not smelling it as much. Okay. Let me smell. It's just really light. It's very light, but I smell it. It's almost got like a Coca Cola smell. Which one was that one? That one was the jasmine rose, or rose mm-hmm. jasmine. Yeah, I like that one. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we're going to do one. You can just keep it back here. Oh, keep yeah. it back here? Yeah, and then we'll swirl it around and then drop it, yeah. 
All right, so this one was the Lily of the Valley. That one is a, to me, is very sickening rose, uh, floral because it can be clawing. It's one of those white florals that can be very clawing. And it's found in a lot yeah, of I older... Yeah, smell it. Yeah, it's definitely, you should smell Lily of the Valley relatively quickly. Yep, I smell that. And now after we do this, then it should go relatively quickly based off just those five scents or five ingredients. And this one will be the aldehydic. This is definitely going to make a difference. It should. Swirl it around and sniffy. Yeah. Oh yeah, the aldehydic immediately changed it. It took precedence. Yeah. So you can put, oh, did I put it backwards? Oh, I put aldehydic. Oh, okay, I did them backwards. But anyway, so I know that the aldehydic is definitely a strong, and I'm starring it because it's very strong. And then go ahead and do the ylang ylang. Ylang ylang is going to take over. Yeah, so. I think so. Just one drop, and you always want to put it in the same angle. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so that the drop is the same. So you always want to put your drop. Let me show you. At an bit. angle. Oops. Yeah, at an angle so that. that the drop that's going in, they're relatively the same size. Yep. Okay. So swirl that around. And I can smell that over here. Yeah. So that's got a high impact as well. And I'm going to put two stars. So based off of this, just this quick analogy by putting them all together. Can I smell? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that yelang yelang. Yeah. Yelang yelang took over. So based off of what we just did, the five drops, that's all we did starting out. We're going to do a 24 drop recipe. Now Vivian can go in and figure out based off of what she um, analyzed in the drop, in the bottle, what she wants, how she's going to create her um, recipe. So, or excuse me, her formula. <laughs> Got to get used to that, saying, okay, so why don't you go ahead? She's going to think about what she's going with, going for. So you as a viewer are going to figure out now, based off of this information, what type of um, formula are you trying to create? What What is your end result that you're looking for? Are you wanting it to be more like a Chanel, very clawing with the aldehydic? Or do you want it to be more grounded? Or um, I sure do. You want it more I grounded? I want it more grounded, yeah. So she's going to probably add a lot more of the... Uh, sandalwood vanilla mm -hmm. and rose jasmine. Okay, and those will pretty much probably be her higher amounts. Is that what you're going for? Yes. And then these will just kind of be complementing the um, base notes or the lower notes. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to put three. Okay, so that's four. And then I'll put plus two. Okay. And I don't know. Should I make it? You a two? make it your way. I'm not All doing right. this. One. I'm gonna do two here. One. One. All okay. right. So how many is that so far? <laughs> That's Sorry. fourteen. That's fourteen. So so go ahead. I, I'm gonna put the um Okay. So here's going to be four, three, three, two, two. Okay, okay. So this is her recipe thus far. Now we've gotten up to 14 drops. So I need to add three so of she's, these. She's going to go ahead and do at least up to that and then see at that point if she wants to go more. One, two, three. And then she's going to do, what's that one? Rose jasmine. Okay, you're gonna so add two, two to that one. Now you see how well we're doing this. So now you'll be able to analyze it and see what you want to add to it later. Or is this one also two? Lily of the Valley. Yep, it's two more. Try and keep it in the same angle. Good job. And then you're gonna add one of the um, aldehydic. Yep. And then one of the al um, the yelling yelling yelling. Healing, healing. Mm. One. Ooh, I could smell that over here. Mm -hmm. That's why we're making sure that one goes, it's not as much. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to. Oof, <laughs> that one kicked booty. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to not get any more of these. So I'm going to close these tight. 
And most likely you're just going to. So I'm just stirring it. Swirling it. Yeah, on the bottom. Now pass it under your nose. Mm. Now, when it's in the vial, what we're smelling is what we call the head space, yeah. which is the difference between where the oil is and the top of the vial. So everything that's from here up is what we call air space or the head space of a perfume. So that's why you normally use a strip, which you see here, to judge it by the end. So what we're doing right now is just smelling the, the actual concentrate and whether we like it or not, but the true test will come after we've put the alcohol in it and it's been put on the skin because at the end of the day, it's your skin that is the actual final ingredient to every perfume. That's and, a nice way to put yeah, it. So your skin is the final ingredient. Exactly. Because every person's skin is different. My daughter and I, she just came in here a few minutes ago and she fell in love with the sandalwood vanilla all by itself. So it is really nice. It, it, all these are perfumes on their own. These are all final, complete blends and you can turn each one into a perfume and enjoy it. Right. This one in particular, my daughter went nuts over. Elora was like, or excuse me, Lola was like, oh. And I put it on my skin and I put it on, and she put it on hers. On Lolo, it smelled like pumpkin, she said pumpkin pie almost. Yes. And mine, it smells like the, it smells like sandalwood. Like yeah. you rip it across, away from the bark of a tree that's going bad, you know, that's decaying. Yeah. It's had that earthy pungent smell whereas on lolo it was the vanilla a lot more sweeter yeah on so her skin it's amazing the difference our skin your skin is the final ingredient in every blend yes okay so and we uh, you smelled it i didn't get a chance to smell it so sorry guys oh it smells good so far mm -hmm. all right so what would you like to add to it you got 10 more drops okay so i'm thinking I might add one more to each one of these, and then the rest will go to these two. All right. So we're going to add one, add one, add one. And then so that's three, and we have ten left. So what would you like? That's seven more. You want to do three here and four here? Yes. All right. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, so this is what? she's going with that is gonna be my final blend all right so how many of these Ma? um which one are you on four of yes the four more, right i'm gonna just open those back before you see you don't have to have our time yep so four of sandalwood vanilla so one two three four excellent and three you're gonna do rose jasmine you're doing three yeah, this one smells so good. And you don't like jasmine. One, two. Now she does. Three. Because it actually smells like a flower in this. It smells. Compared to the other ones. The other one did not smell so much like a flower. This one smells. Just like a flower. Just like the flower, jasmine. Yeah, it doesn't have a plasticky smell like other ingredients. Right. Uh, one. Lily of the Valley, one. Mm -hmm. One. And gonna have one of the uh, aldehydic yep. aldehyde. Mm -hmm. One and one more of the yelling yang. Yes, ma'am. So what was my final amount of yelling yang? Um, you had the final was three. So I don't want to miscount you. So she had three, three, four, six, and eight. So this was the final formula. Three, three, four, six, eight. All right. So I'm going to give this a little swirl. That looks good. Now, let me explain that these droppers, I love these glass droppers because the amount that comes out of these are a lot smaller than the ones that we're using prior. Let me see this. It does? Awesome. Mm -hmm. So if you can see, when I say 24 drops, this is actually a half of a meal versus our old oils or the old droppers that we had that, um, put my ring back on, it looks better, that created 24 drops was a meal for us on our last droppers. And now these new droppers 
that come with the one, half ounce bottles, they produce half the amount before. Yeah. So that makes these, um, it saves you oil. Yes. At least I think it does. All right. So, so how many mils now to that, Mom? So it's a half mil here, mm -hmm. and we're going to keep to the, did you want to do a, now this is the time, because there's no restrictions for the Accords. So if you'd like to, you can go to a 3070, you can do a 2080, you can a do a 10. or a you can toilet. Do a toilet. Okay. Not a toilet. <laughs> toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> So you can make at this point, make the decision. We're going to stick. You're so hilarious. We're going to stick to the 2080 ratio. 2080, which also means one to four. And when you do the one to four, that means half a mil is here. So now we multiply. Just so you, wait a second. Just so you know, I if we know that... It. If we do the 1 to 4 ratio, which is the same as the 20 to 80, we know that our 1 is a 0.5. So we take 0.5 and multiply it by 2. And that gives us 2. <laughs> You're so silly. So that's basically our tester again. That smells good. Mm -hmm. So that means we are going to add to our final blend 2 mils of alcohol and this is the same as before that we were doing with testers with the old um, ingredients that's because their droppers had a bigger um, we had a bigger hole on the dropper uh oh what do I need my um my thing what the piece two mls oh no you can fill it right up here no you can do it there yeah so she's gonna fill it up in this thing you can use this or you can use this. If you're using these vials that we suggested. Yeah, they have the little lines already. Yes, so if you can see, I don't know if you can see them. There they are. See the little notches here? So this is a half mil. You would go up to the, you'd add two mils. That means you go up to the um, two and a half mil mark. Because it's already half, so you would go to the two and a half mark. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So, awesome. Cute. So she's going to real quick. Ready? Okay. She's going to pour in the two mils. Now, whatever measurement tool that you're using at home, just stick to whatever ratio you want. Twenty to thirty, or twenty to eighty, or thirty to seventy, or if you want to do a toilet, then you can do 10 to 90. Shaky, shaky, shaky. We've missed that so much. I cannot. Shaky, this is shaky. our first one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, going to test it with us, actually. We're going to try and be in the videos a little bit more, but probably in the formulas when we go from, the, from here on, we'll most likely do um, just showing the vials. So, all right. Yay. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it on. Oh, well, and then, yeah. yeah, and if this, we got, the, I made them a lot larger than before. So if it doesn't fit in the vial, you can actually take it and bend it so it looks like this, and then able to dip it in, and it works. So you'll put it on your skin. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Remember, our skin is the final, is the uh, final. Ooh. Sorry, that's okay. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. That smells so good. It smells like a Chanel. I can still smell the yelang 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 We'll promise we'll eventually get it run out of that. So. Yeah. Wow. So let me smell it on you. Compared to me. Who smells awesome. <laughs> Much better. It smells good on me. It smells good on you. Mm -hmm. It smells yeah. really good on me. It smells really good. It does. Let me smell it on you. This me. is, um, wow. I'm proud of this. I'm like super proud. It is a very, very, you could tell it's in the same class of a Chanel number no. five. 
It's the alvahitic scent that really makes this perfume a in this class, this family of the alvahitic. Yeah. And very little. I mean, you saw how much we used. Let me see if I can see the video. Yeah. So you see that we used only three of the aldehydic and the um, yang yang. 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 <laughs> and yang. it still just totally overpowers it. And that's what you smell. And that's because, I mean, that's what we wanted. We wanted it to be more of a... Um, oh, my God. I could just... I can already That's tell cool. what I would want to add to this later. So remember that these blends, these are just the, I know, is just the beginning. So you now can take this particular formula, and after you've made other formulas, you can now start blending those. And that's all these are. This right here is a formula that was already pre-made. And we're blending it with this formula that was already pre-made. They all start out like this. This probably has about 80 different ingredients in it. This one probably has another 80 ingredients in it. But the So there really isn't no wrong way to go. Right. Exactly. So these already have um, ingredients blended into it, which we, we don't know what's in there. It's proprietary. Exactly. So, but... We know that that is what makes this. Yes, all of these together. So basically, this particular formula that probably she has, just created has probably, probably has two, three hundred oh, different. Yeah. <laughs> if you say that each one has about twenty, then you have at least a hundred ingredients in this particular perfume at this moment. Yep. Now, much later, as you get used to doing all of this, getting over the fear uh, of so blending, it just smells so good. Never. It smells really clean. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. It smells really good. It's it's amazing. I can't wait to put it on. Oh, we should put it on a spritzy spritzy. I don't even know where they're at anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, they are? Okay. So when... I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. That's okay. What was I saying? I messed up your thought. <laughs> Which is normal. <laughs> Mine just goes... Oh, so later... I know what it is. Um, later down the road, when um, we start getting used to just blending and just using families or scents in different families, then you're going to actually create your own accords using the aromatic chemicals and natural ingredients in the isolates. So you're going to learn how to do that all on your own, and then you're going to create us an accord. And then we will say, oh, this was created by the nose that created this accord was... Vivian, and then we will use that in our formulas. But these all that you have in front of you, these accords were all created by the nose of Susan Lamont. So we love you. It was awesome. All right. Yes. And if you want these ingredients or this particular recipe or you want to try these, hopefully they'll be put on the website relatively quickly and you can get either the Sniffy sample packs. Well, I guess it's, we're not going to call them Sniffy. I don't know what she's going to call them. She, we call, we're so used to saying Sniffy samples. But it's going to be some form of sample pack. And, um, and you can either get it in the sample pack, which is two mils. I think that's $10 for all five of them because they are higher quality ingredients. I just want you to know. And that includes the shipping. Or you can get them in the half ounce with the dropper included. And I don't know what that price is going to be yet. But no, it's going to be awesome. So Right. So... You see, we waited a little bit longer, and I smelled myself, and <laughs> I can smell. <laughs> just it smells so good. It smells really good on you. It's almost got that Chanel soapy well, smell. Thank you. And mine's more of the um, woodier. Yeah. Yeah. Mine has the deeper, richer. For some reason, my skin loves to blend with the heavier ingredients that's why i love them so much i, I love the, and the you smell floor, more floral yeah you have more scent. the floral scent it, her skin complements the florals my skin tends to complement more of the base notes the um the resins and woods and stuff like that all right so thank you guys for joining us we hope you liked it um please give a like like subscribe and leave a comment down below we <laughs> shall see you on the next, next form <laughs> The next formula. <laughs> I was going to say next video. Okay. Next. The next formula. formula. <laughs> Bye.